nature is a great experimenter how do you think it experiments basically it discards the species that is not supporting the whole and it has constantly experimented over millions of years it has discarded the dinosaurs it has discarded probably the saber tooth tigers it has discarded ramapithecus it has discarded the neanderthals a few of these species have survived for 200000 years a few of them have also survived for 10 to 20 million years so this is just information for you but the question is how sure are we about the success of our species of the success of this human species are you sure we're going to survive forever if we have to survive forever that means you need to be beneficial for the whole if you're not going to be beneficial for the whole what would nature do it would discard us are we being beneficial to the whole so we probably have to have a conversation with the planet earth what do you think the planet would tell us no very unhappy we are probably more damaging than the smallpox virus which doesn't exist now yes we are more damaging we are causing greater calamity we are being cruel to this planet of ours if you look at any other species every other species kills somebody else or kills another species only for its own survival when when it is threatened or when it is very hungry but we as a human species we have not evolved but we as a species kill another species not for our own survival but to prove our superiority over the other to prove our dominance over this entire planet or sometimes even for pleasure there is a huge noise outside in the world about the virus the corona virus what if this corona virus is nature's way of eliminating the human virus there is a huge possibility right we are not being beneficial to the whole if we are not being beneficial to the whole we have seen again and again that nature discards us in the current situation china is not the problem the chinese people are not the problem what is the problem the problem is our own consciousness we are living and experiencing life in separation we are living and experiencing life as though we are separate from everybody around us and this separation driven consciousness has its own repercussions and we see it in the world we see it in the world as cancer we see it in the world as disaster as natural calamity or as the corona virus it is time to awaken now we can't continue living our life from a disconnected state of consciousness the more disconnection that we experience more chaotic would be the world around us if you are truly looking for a more peaceful world if you are truly looking for a more joyful world if we intend to create a beautiful world for our children for our grandchildren then the transformation has to happen now and here it is already too late Thank you.